MVP of the EU LCS in 2018. Summer, it was reckless, and you had all the guys on Fnatic putting up absolutely absurd KDAs, but it's a totally different landscape coming into 2018. So who do you like for MVP? Well, I'm telling you, Eric, it's going to be the man in the mid lane, Perks. He is going to be okay. the MVP this time in spring. And I'm telling you that this guy is truly going to show for everyone why we've been hyping up Perks kind of the last two or three seasons now. The way that he has shown how what his mechanical strengths are in the mid lane position, his uh, depth as far as his champion pool, and as well as his ability to just absorb intense amounts of pressure from the jungle pairings in, the, in Europe. And I think that you're going to see this year with a combination of Yankos instead of Trick helping him out, we're going to see Perks reach some incredible numbers, similar to what we saw Jensen reach in North America with the help of contracts this past year. Yeah, and again, there's going to be so much pressure on Perks with an entirely newly revamped G2 lineup. As the only guy still there, absolutely. The only guy left, he's clearly the captain of this team. Even Ocelot said that in uh, <laughs> a little announcement video he did. So if that doesn't put even more pressure on you, I don't know what was. Uh, what does? I agree with you that G2, the MVP is gonna be coming from G2, but I think it's gonna be that man who's gonna be jungle mid lane duo with him. I think Yankos is really gonna have a field day on this G2 roster. Uh, he and Perks have a very interesting relationship. They used to have Twitter wars and great banter on the analyst desk. I think they are gonna far and away become the best jungle mid lane duo. And I think just the pressure that Perks is gonna be able to add and Yankos as well, is just gonna open up these other lanes. And he's, Yankos is gonna have so many options where to go uh, in, the, in this lineup. And I think that he's gonna be able to be hounding opposing junglers as well and you know, regular season, Yankos is great. It's in the playoffs when you really see him, uh, a little bit of choke stuff coming Yeah, we out. haven't seen the Yankos that we want to see in the postseason. But I, yeah. think, I think that if you're going to, if, um, if we're going to go off of Perks as an MVP pick coming into this season, I think Yankos is a fantastic one. He is arguably the best Western jungler right now. And he's someone that I think with the changes that have been made to this preseason and the champions that will be in meta play will be usually more aggressive. And I think that he is someone that can fully take advantage of that. Yeah, and obviously we don't even know what the meta is settled on. We're, I mean, we got the first patch of mm -hmm. Season 8 coming out, and if it's going to be fully tanked, Sejuani and Gragas in the jungle, it's, it's tough to get MVP when you're playing right. stuff like that. You got to see Yankos on, you saw him on the Kane, on the Kha'Zix, stuff like that, and then you'll really be able to take over uh, some of these games. But listen, MVP is super tough to pick coming into 2018. We're, we both think it's going to be a guy on G2. I yeah. think they're going to have... There are plenty of other MVP options out there remaining in Europe, and you don't even have to go too far away from the top-level teams. You can look at Fnatic, and you know if, if Caps decides to step it up from his world's performance, we could see someone getting an MVP there. Reckless, obviously, is the returning MVP. Yep. And then even, even moving off of that, you can go to Misfits and looking at, at Alfari and Maxlor in that top jungle position. Those are two of the strongest players in Europe, so there are definitely a lot of options here for someone to really step up and take that most valuable player award. Yeah, and Perks and Caps are two guys that, with so much EU mid lane talent leaving, these guys should really put themselves uh, at the top of that mid lane talent pool in EU, and they might be fighting for MVP if, if Caps can play a little bit more consistently. But I feel like in the regular season, because the MVP is a regular season award, I think Yankos is gonna come out on top, but uh, we're both on the G2 hype train, even if I, I predict they're going to struggle a bit early on and people will start losing their minds when they drop a couple games in the first couple weeks. But uh, by the end of the regular season, they'll be back on track and uh, looking strong heading into playoffs. Yeah, that's, it's G2. How, how could they not be looking strong? They kept together. Uh, Perks is the only one there and they managed to piece together here a roster that is strong around him and I feel like they should be right up there. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.